Democrats have released a $3 trillion stimulus proposal. Let's talk about all the factors and little tidbits that's in this proposal. What's up? I'm Brandon Young, and on this channel, I teach you how to make, save, and invest money. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss a beat. Another day, another proposal, and with this proposal, we have an awesome name, which is the HEROES Act, that is short for Health and Economic Recovery, Omnibus Emergency Solutions Act. But we're gonna just say HEROES Act because that's less of a handful. Now this would expand unemployment assistance, boost food stamps, increase emergency grants for small businesses trying to weather the COVID-19 pandemic, and has slammed the economy with unended daily life in the US. Now the HERO Act includes 915 billion to help fiscally strap states, including District of Columbia, 540 billion for territories and tribal authorities, and 375 for local governments. Now this is also going to include 200 billion for those essential workers that have been working day in, day out to make sure we all stay safe and healthy. This would be able to help them provide hazard pay to them for our frontline healthcare workers. So that is a good thing for our healthcare workers because you guys definitely need to be paid. 75 billion to beef up testing and contact testing. So for all those tests to ensure that we know whether we are infected or not, this is gonna help with our testing because the sooner that you know is the quicker you can get all fixed up part where you're all waiting for how much are we gonna get paid from this proposal i want to know i want to know i want to know well guys the second round of economic impact payments of 1200 dollars per family member which would be six thousand per household so with this one they're kind of trying to do uh, each one of the family members get a $1,200 check, which is kind of a little similar to the first one because we're getting that same $1,200, but they're kind of putting a cap at $6,000 per household. A little better than the actual first one that we got because the $1,200 check would pretty much go out to individuals and $2,400 for um, married people and they would get an extra 500 but for each one of those children a part of that household they would get a $1,200 check as well but in a sense if you think about it 6,000 per household how long do you think this pandemic is going to last you know 6,000 is way better than a $1,200 check or a $2,400 check with the addition of the 500 and all that but you got to think about it in the long term how long do you think this pandemic is going to last and if that six thousand dollars is all that we get then that six thousand is going to have to last us for however long this pandemic lasts for so that could be six months it could be eight months we don't know how long it will last but they are also putting in 10 billion for emergency grants for small businesses through the economic injury disaster loan program cobra subsidies to workers who have lost their health insurance because they have been laid off it also creates a special enrollment period for the affordable care act exchanges for the uninsured and an extension of weekly $600 federal unemployment payments through next January. This will also include $175 billion to help renters and homeowners make monthly rent, mortgage, utility payments, and other housing related costs. Now with the other proposal, the rent and mortgage proposal, we saw that it would pretty much put a freeze to mortgage payments and rent payments, but I don't believe it said anything about helping us actually pay for these rent payments and mortgage payments. It was only going to freeze it and just make it that we didn't have to pay anything for the time being. So this proposal would help people to make payments, which would be good for some of those people who 
own buildings and they have rental properties who haven't got any kind of income coming in from these properties as well as some renters that need that help to pay because they lost their job and they don't really have any actual way to pay so they would get to pay some type of amount because you know paying some amount is better than paying nothing. Now this proposal has been the biggest one that we have seen thus far and they'll be making a decision on it on Friday. But what do you think about this proposal? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments section below. Watch this video, watch this video, go subscribe here. I'm Brandon Young and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.